Now the next step is to think about what important clinically significant information we can glean from looking at the microscopy of this slide. Well, uh, first thing that we want to do is to say what histologic type of gastric adenocarcinoma this is. And you recall from your lecture notes or your lectures that uh, there are two main types using the Loren classification system. There is intestinal type, which is gland forming. There is the diffuse type, which is composed mostly of single cells that infiltrate into the layers of the gastric wall. And there's of course mixed intestinal and diffuse. So let's have a look at this and see what type this is. I will give you a few seconds to think about it before I tell you the answer. Well, as you can see, this is clearly gland forming. We don't really have a component of the diffuse uh, type of single cell infiltration, infiltration pattern. So since this is largely gland forming, this would fall into the intestinal type. The next thing that we want to do would be to grade this tumor. And grading is done histologically. So how do we grade it? We look at the architecture. Is it gland forming? We know that it's an adenocarcinoma mostly because it is obviously forming glands. So this would not fall into the poorly differentiated or undifferentiated grade. But the next thing is that we look at the cytomorphology. Is it very bland or does it look fairly um, uniformed? Actually, looking at this, the cells are pretty pleomorphic and they're too pleomorphic to fall into well differentiated. Therefore, this is most likely going to be a moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma intestinal type. The next piece of information is very important, the staging, and different uh, systems of staging exist for different organs. In the gut, including the stomach, staging is basically categorized by the layer of penetration. So how deep is the penetration of the tumor into the wall of the gut? So in the stomach, you can see that uh, this particular tumor has gone fairly deep and just to look at this here, it's definitely involving the submucosa. It is going into the muscularis propria. As you can see this pink band here. Question, the question is, is it going through the muscularis propria? If we look carefully, we can see that it is still bound by some smooth muscle here. So the tumor is still bound by muscularis propria. It has not extended into the subserosa, as you can see here. And therefore, in the stomach, this would actually fall into the T2 category. This is just for information. We don't expect you to memorize the categories. Um, if the tumor is invading into the lamina propria in the mucosa or the submucosa, these would both fall into the T1 category. If it is going into the muscularis propria, this would be T2. If it is involving the subserosa, this would be T3. This is the subserosa. And if it was breaching the serosal surface, this would be T4. So the complete diagnosis here would be gastric adenocarcinoma, intestinal type, moderately differentiated, and P, P for pathological, PT2.